بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله one of our brothers حفظه الله تعالى may Allah سبحانه وتعالى preserve him and bless him and bless us all with علم النافع وفق في الدين آمين يا رب العالمين he asked about a question regarding why I would recommend I recommended him to study with one of our brothers Mustafa George when he refutes brother Tahir White a well-known Talib al -Ilm, and Sheikh Ibrahim Rahili and others the first thing I want to mention is for us to understand that unfortunately the khilaf, the differences, will not cease as we've constantly mentioned in many lessons and lectures and videos. And along with that, if we know that the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah says, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and if you differ over something, then return it to Allah and His Messenger. With that being the case, many matters, they may not seem clear where the text leads us. How do we apply the nasus when someone is refuting someone else? And how do we apply how do we apply this these things? How do we know what is most correct and proper? All of this comes with al mufaq fi din May yuradullahu bihi khayran yufaqo fi din Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him fiqh, understanding of the deen. With fiqh and ilm and hikmah, all these traits which are mamduh or mahmud, these are righteous traits, they give us a means for determining the haq from batal. And they give us a means to be balanced. Bi'idnillah. So with regards to that question, that you will find you will, won't find two students of knowledge or mashayikh that agree on every single issue and every single hukum on even a, especially about a particular individual, because these are Amur Ijtihadiya. These are affairs of ijtihad so with that when we take a mokif or a position it should be based on the ilm and that doesn't have to negate the brotherhood with regards to the affair well, you you all right however that should increase the khair how you doing hi how you doing hey so that should not be a means for us to denigrate and attack and belittle one another, but in fact it should strengthen one another if we have ilm and know how to deal with those differences. Because you won't, have a, you won't agree about every single individual, every single mas'ala. And for me, I do not allow that to be a means for the shaitan to splinter between Ahlul Sunnah any more than he has. And I do not allow that to be a part of the cancer that the Hezbeen thrive on in order to divide the brothers. If the brothers are divided, as I recall, Sheikh, Sheikh uh, one of our Mashaykh in Ha'il, Sheikh Aida Shemri, Hafidullah Ta'ala, mentioned that when Mashaykh, the Mashaykh in Yemen had their differences, that although they had their differences, if those a, a group of them continued doing da'wah in their locality and another group in their locality then they're still spreading khair even if they could not rectify their affairs but the best is to return to Allah and His Messenger and strive your best to maintain the brotherhood even if your brother dislikes you and attacks you then if you can be the better of them by keeping the khair and putting everything in its rightful place then you'll have barakah from Allah. May Allah bless you with tawfiq and unity based on kitab wa sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.